Hi everyone, welcome back to Science After Winter Break. My name is Katherine and I am a fourth grade TA of the Young Scientist Program through USC. I typically teach at Norwood and Mac Elementary Schools. This week we're learning about energy and collisions. I hope you're ready. This is our agenda for today. First, we're going to learn about what momentum is. Then we're going to predict if a ping pong ball or a marble has more momentum. Then we're going to do the experiment, and finally we're going to end with observations and conclusions. Write this down in your science journals. Our question is what has more momentum, a marble or a ping pong ball? Have you ever noticed that bus drivers have to step on the brakes way before car drivers do? Do you know why that is? To answer this question, we have to first learn what momentum is. Momentum is related to an object's mass or weight and velocity or speed. The equation is P equals mv, where P is momentum, m is mass, and v is velocity. Because a bus is heavier than a car, it has more momentum and it will take longer for it to stop moving. That's why we have to put the brakes on sooner. There are two different types of collisions. Inelastic collisions occur when two objects collide and then stick together after the collision. Elastic collisions occur when two objects collide and then separate after the collision. In this picture, you can see that in the inelastic collision, the ball stops against the wall. However, in the elastic collision, the ball bounces back off the wall. You can think of elastic like a rubber band where it snaps back if you were to flick it. It's time to open back up your science journal and complete this sentence to make your full prediction. We only need three materials today, a ping pong ball, a marble or a golf ball, and a ruler. Put your ping pong ball down and put the marble about six inches away from the ping pong ball. Then slide your marble towards the ping pong ball and see what happens. Do they stick together or do they bounce off? Now do the experiment the opposite way. Put your marble down and your ping pong ball six inches away from your marble. Slide your ping pong ball towards the marble. Do they stick together or does the ping pong ball bounce off? Remember to write down your observations in your science journals. Compare the two experiments. How might rolling the marble towards the ping pong ball result in a different type of collision than when the ping pong ball is rolled towards the marble? Which of the two is heavier? How do they compare in size and how do they compare in speed? In your conclusion section, write down answers to the following two questions. Which type of ball moved the farthest after the collision? And which type of ball do you think had more momentum, the marble or the ping pong ball? Try to elaborate why you thought this was. If you have time to experiment further, Try to see what would change about the outcome of each collision if you changed the speed of the ping pong ball or the marble. Do you think there are other forces that might have affected the outcome of each collision as well? Now it's time for our scientist of the week. Marietta Blau was born in 1894 in Austria. Along with her student at the Austrian Academy of Sciences, she was first to use film emulsions to capture nuclear processes. They developed the use of emulsions to record sprays of particles that emerged from high energy particle collisions. Blau was nominated for the Chemistry Nobel Prize once and the Physics Nobel Prize four times. In 1962, she received the Erwin Schrodinger Prize of the Austrian Academy of Sciences. Thank you for participating in this week's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for next week's lesson. See you then.